There are a few things more unnerving than chasing a speeding vehicle on the highway. But when those being pursued are also escaped convicts and armed, the risks go up substantially. However, Colorado State Trooper James Harper took that risk without a moment's hesitation. Guys, up against the wall. Early on a March morning inside the Tierra Amarilla Jail, inmates Larry Anthony and Faustin Martinez are in no mood for breakfast. What they're in the mood for is a fast break. Anthony takes his trade, and as Martinez goes for his, he gives his partner a signal. The time to move is now. But as they rush out of the jail, they're spotted, and immediately an all-points bulletin is sent throughout the area. Once outside, the escapees find the jailer's white pickup truck and dash into it, wanting to put as much distance as possible between themselves and the jail. At 7.30, the fugitives pass Colorado State Trooper James Harper on Route 285. Harper recognizes the vehicle from the APB. The report on the two men indicates that they should be considered dangerous. Trooper Harper soon finds that to be true. As he closes in on the truck, the man in the passenger seat grabs a gun and leans out the window, aiming directly at Harper. To avoid being shot, Harper swerves across the road and slows down. This tactic works as the gunman drops back into the truck. But as soon as Harper tries to move in again, the same thing happens. Only this time, the truck breaks suddenly, nearly causing Harper to ram it. The chase continues at high speed. Harper manages to stay with the truck until it makes a sharp turn, taking him by surprise. Trying to make the turn, he winds up caught in the soft dirt on the shoulder of the highway. It takes him a few moments to get back into the chase. As Harper races to catch up to the pickup, the fugitives are in trouble. The truck is beginning to overheat. They decide to turn off the main road, hoping to lose the highway patrolman in the back country. Finally, the truck quits on them, and the two men run into the brush, with Martinez carrying the rifle. But Harper is close behind and sees the truck stopped up ahead. He pulls up nearby, and grabbing his own weapon, a standard-issue 12-gauge shotgun, he takes cover behind his vehicle and tries to get the two men to surrender. Throw out your guns and come But the out. men aren't about to go back to jail, especially Martinez. Popping out of the brush, he points his rifle at the state trooper and then just as quickly ducks back down again. Harper orders the man to drop the rifle and surrender. The fugitive's response is to threaten Harper for a second time. Again, the patrolman demands that the gunman give up. Martinez rises up a third time, raising his rifle. At this point, fearing that he is going to be shot, Harper raises his own weapon and fires once, knocking Martinez to the ground. Put your hands over your head and come out! Don't shoot! I don't have a gun! Come on out! Don't shoot! Walk over here! Put your hands over your head! Don't In shoot. behind your head! Put your hands behind your head! Anthony gives up without resistance. The drama is over with one fugitive in custody and the situation secured. Trooper Harper now waits for backup. Turn around. Turn around. Walk backwards. Faustin Martinez died at the scene. His partner, Larry Anthony, was charged with assault on a peace officer and served four and a half years in a Colorado penitentiary. Next, a friendly motorist in a routine traffic stop ends in a drug bust. 